friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with I Like Team. Now, today, Plotties! Plotties, we are here because we have to check out, well, we got another .mpk3. We got an mpk3 out here. We got, well, we have the GOAT. We have the ace of K-pop. The ace of K-pop, mind you. Uh, Cheyenne <laughs> is here with her song. Original song, mind you. Sorta. I'll get into it. Dream. Deep Dream. So she's in a deep dream. Sea Air, number one. Che and Air. Sea Air. She Air. All right, Che and, right? Um, multiple things to talk about before we get into this. Most importantly, okay, so all the other members have been doing covers for their MPK3s, and they've been sick. I've been listening to them a lot. Most recently, we checked out, you know, Gones. Um, but, haha, <laughs> come to the description, because I'm like, is this her song? How's this work? Original track. Produced by Juan, I assume. Well, anyways, Joji, ex Billie Eilish, ex Piano, type beat, in love with you. <laughs> just this thing kind of vile too. She picked a very, very viral type beat. Like she's out here just. <laughs> but I assume she might have bought it, or there's gonna be a tag, whatever. Chains the goat. She can produce, as we've seen here. Even though she's on a type beat, she probably did a few things to change it around. Lyrics by Chain, composed by Chain. She found the track. She did the track. I assume she's gonna do a lot of the editing for this and or all that, you know, whatever. And then they're just out here now. Hashtag chain, hashtag Sierra. That's not how hashtags work. You can't put a space in a hashtag or I mean like a, a dash, whatever. Um, <laughs> on top of all of that, just real quick, just like, just like <laughs> BXX <laughs> logo motion. I mean, we've been calling it uh, under my last few videos for the last few of these I've been reacting to. Normally, when Purple Kids comes back, they drop a lot of, you know, covers before they do a comeback. But usually, see, this is why I've been skeptical. I said it's probably going to be a comeback. Uh, their last comeback kind of went under the radar with K-pop. A lot of people didn't really even know what happened. And Biscuit's a banger. And Seven Heaven is catchy as hell. A lot of people didn't even know that comeback, really, like, it doesn't have many views, right? But, okay, ignore that. Whatever. Um... They've been doing MPK3s as their covers, which is like member driven. Usually before the comeback, it's like company driven. The company be putting budget and they film all these things. And I feel like a lot of this is just Purple Kids just out here doing shit they want to do. But like, I don't care. Either way, a comeback got announced, so I'm excited. You, <laughs> I'm like super excited even. Can't wait for that. So stay tuned. Obviously, we got the comeback to check out in like whenever that is. Less than a month probably. And then, uh, yeah, Purple Kids saying Deep Dream today. We're checking out her song. Her, I'm literally so excited. I don't know if she's going to rap or sing on this. I assume it's going to be singing. But you know she's one of the better female rappers in K-pop if she actually raps. Like I've been over this plenty of times on the channel. Like she showed I immense potential. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so Chayen Deep Dream. Before we get into it, I need you to make sure that you like the official and original video on Purple Kisses channel to support her, support this really, support this like MPK3, you know, obviously. I want her to feel the love and support for this. And uh, yeah, this doesn't even have 10K views. It came out like what, almost a week ago now, but I don't care. I check these out because I want to and I'm a Purple Kiss fan. Like I am a, like I'm a big Purple Kiss fan at that. So uh, yeah, uh, Chayen, this is her song. Let's check it out, see air. Um, deep dream. Three, two, one, click play. Let's go. Oh, this is a deserved, um, viral, viral type beat. She sounds kind of good. Okay, guys, it's in the playlist. Well, <laughs> it's in the playlist. It's in the rotation. It's in all of that. Oh, my God. This is really good. I've been so busy lately. I haven't had the time to get to this uh, until now. I'm like a week late. My bad. Um, but um, I've been doing like art related things, school stuff and this. 
visuals look great pretty simple but like i don't know if she did this i don't know who did this but it looks nice but the song <laughs> the song the song oh you hear that the crash is coming in the chords are pretty like basic pop chords but it's nice and then and then and then obviously her voice is like the wow factor here like we'll get into that like it's like deep and like full sounding and just great and chain is she could be like the biggest r&b singer on the planet if she wanted to be she is that talented she just kind of you know she'd be keeping it chill she's keeping it low-key doing her little purple kiss thing you know her little purple kiss thing sadly it's not purple kiss on bloody top yet they if they keep saying you know maybe that's the problem we had some hype around our debut eras the first few you know people were like in zombie especially particularly and then i feel like we stopped saying purple kiss on bloody top and, and when we stopped saying that it, like, like we kind of killed all the hype like it was gonna actually be purple kiss on bloody top we were gonna fight our way and just be there but then we stopped manifesting that shit by not say, <laughs> saying it and then here we are <laughs> oh goodness reality was just mem mem which is a banger but people just were not fucking with the vision that i was for i felt the vision but people weren't now we don't have fans but you know what it's fine it's crazy how k-pop is it's so competitive and with fourth gen now we're in fifth gen but fourth gen was so competitive man especially on the girl group side of things where you drop one song people don't like and you just fall off you could be at the top of your game i would know i'm a huge stacy fan you could drop one bad song which is their best song yet in beautiful monster and all of a sudden people just don't listen and don't care they're they're on to the next new group that debuted the next new group that dropped a good song the next new oh but then it's trendy to keep up with certain groups i wouldn't say purple kiss ever got big enough to be on that trend unfortunately unfortunately but we were um i swear if the next song after zombie people really liked we would have been uh, we were on that trajectory because zombie did have some hype people would have been like oh wait this purple kiss group's kind of cool and then they, they would have dropped them the next release and people would have been like no don't care <laughs> nope i'm leaving that one in the back but man but this girl right here is so talented i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm gonna I'm be here whether we get two views or two hundred thousand views yeah <laughs> no one else got a voice like her in k-pop Goodness gracious! We probably won't let each other go. We've come this far and we've hurt. We've hurt each other. Everything's like... We've hurt. It was deep and painful. But we're in the process of healing. that note she hit was really nice there anyways the lyrics seem kind of i like how i don't know if that's just for the captions whoever captioned this or if that's actually how she's singing it but i i think that's how she how it like each line she like stops in the middle of the sentence to get the rhyme out so it's like me and you going to the park and we're eating something get the, like how you like pause in the middle of the like i like how like you know what i mean as someone who's reading the lyrics like reading the captions i'm like What's it going to say next? Then the next line pops up. Oh, that's where we're going with it. You know, the lyrics aren't, aren't anything too crazy. It's like a little romantic song, but still like a heartbreak romance, like a sad romantic, but like, you know, <laughs> I'm sure there's some nice word plays there. Oh my god, she's the best. She. How about. This is the ace of all aces. Have you seen her dance? Have you heard her rap? You probably haven't. Go watch Show Me the Perky. And. And, th and this. Plus, she's a visual. <laughs> like, she is literally stunning. But. 
And she has the ambition and drive of like, she's gonna get somewhere in life. No, this is good. I wonder how many other songs are made with this beat. Like, how many people have hopped on this this beat because it was kind of viral. And I, I would give some of them a listen and just, just compare them to this to see like which one I like the most. But like, I like this one the most. Like, I'm sorry. the piano how did i hug you so much without withering okay like that's like because the day when we were blooming but how did i hug you so much without withering because like the problems the thorns the issues so that's kind of a line though she she kind of got the poetry the name of the song embraced in a dream like a deep dream okay sorry i was beating myself up there a second ago because i'm mad that i didn't see purple kiss in concert when i had the chance i'm still mad i've talked about this in other videos i'm still mad i'm mad about it i threw i'm not saying she performed this live at the set but i'm also not saying she didn't i didn't look at the set list that would that kind of ruin that defeats the purpose of me personally i wouldn't if i'm if I'm ever going to a concert, I do not want to look up no set list. That defeats the purpose of me going if I know what they're going to perform. I like the... It's the same way I don't look up teasers for things. I like the excitement of just going in and being like, Oh! You know? Or like, what the hell is this? What are they performing? Is this their next comeback? Holy shit! <laughs> you know? like, <laughs> Or like, what is this? Oh, this sounds beautiful. Oh, Che, you're the GOAT. And then I just hear this live. Like, I'm not saying they performed this. I don't know. You can tell me now that, like, they've already done their tour and whatnot. Like, that was, like, months ago. That was last November. But <sighs> it's been, like, what, five months now? Almost? That I could have seen Purple Kiss, like, four or five months ago and i didn't and i'm still mad about it like i could have done it like i didn't like i could have planned better when i found out they were going to be close to that's the closest concert that was <sighs> but a concert was like three hours from my house both ways or one way i should say three hours to get there then three hours back but like i still i could have made that happen like three hours ain't that bad but i was just unsure if yuki was gonna be there i was in this weird place with purple kiss at the time where it was like it was like, I don't know, like, I was just, like, questioning things. I was like, I was like, what's going on behind the scenes? And it was nothing against the girls. It was like this RBW. I was just confused. And then Yuki, obviously, with Elsa up and all that stuff. And I wanted to support her. But I had also, I was just catching up with everything at the time. Like, I was, I hadn't even reacted to Elsa up yet. And I hadn't even, uh, I had just reacted to, like, Purple Kiss's stuff. And I was like, okay, so I'm caught up with Purple Kiss. I really love them. I kind of want to see them in concert. But I started to react to Elsa up, and I hadn't done it yet. And then it was like, oh, if I'm going to this concert, it's in, like, a week. So I need to hurry up and go there. I need to, like, buy tickets, like, 
now and it just seemed like too much at the time that i didn't end up biting on it and it was like but i kind of regret that because turns out yuki was there and turns out the concert was probably lit because it was purple kiss of course it was lit and then it was like whatever chan you're the goat i need to stop regretting on the past and just live in the moment um next time i get that opportunity hopefully i don't pass up on it uh love you keep killing it you're like the ace of all aces uh ploys what are we thinking are we thinking she's the goat i'm not gonna get many views on this i don't i don't care i'd never plan to i just you know i just love purple kiss so i'm gonna react to it and uh yeah with that being said though y'all tell me what you thought of this down below i'm gonna get out of here and i'll edit this and get it out for you so friends i hope you yes you have a good day morning or night whatever time it is for you and wherever you are in the world but that being said peace stand purple kiss goodbye <laughs>